Hello everyone, my name is Anthony Barocas for YOLO Live, and today I am going to talk to you about keying graphics. This gets asked a lot actually, and people are like, how can I get lyrics over top of our service? How can I get uh, sponsors over top of the service? And the easiest way to do that, there's a lot of different ways to do it, but I'm going to cover one specific way, and that's to use an external laptop or any computer really, and use a chroma key over top of live video. Now, this works best if you have a, an external switcher to switch between multiple cameras. But right now, I'm just gonna show you how to do it within the YOLO box. So what I have here is I am going to share, actually you can see I have uh, my YOLO box here and I have a laptop set up with PowerPoint and I already have the green. The output of this is coming, but we're set up for the capture, so we're just gonna continue with that. We have, um, as you can see, you can see my PowerPoint here and I have set up a bunch of ads, updates and other information. So you could put that at the bottom of the screen. And then on the back of the screen, what I've done here is if you go down to your, I believe it's design, you can change the background to a solid fill. And then I just choose this green color right here. So it's a nice, solid, flat green, and then I duplicate my slides over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that in as a source, which I've done, as you can see on the screen, and I am going to play the slideshow from the beginning. And once it takes over the whole screen, now I have a full screen of green with my content at the bottom. What I do is turn the program out. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a picture in picture. So let me actually delete this done and I'm going to recreate it. So I am going to add video source. So we're going to add a picture in picture video. Now your main screen is what's underneath. What do I want underneath? I want me underneath. And what is next? What do I want on top? I want the green screen on top next. And so we're going to end up with, you know, I'm in a green screen so that I could uh, do the opening, but you could be your main camera looking at the stage. That's technically what this, and you're going to cover it with my green screen here. So looking at the scale, I can change the scale of this. And if I make it really big, it covers the whole screen. Done. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a green screen on my USB source right here. So you're going to click the icon, the little person in the TV screen. So we're going to touch that. Turn on the keying switch. It's keyed to green. That's what it defaults to. And boom, I'm done. So when I say done, and I go back to the picture and picture video, here we are. It's the ads or whatever banner you want, any content, any content you put on the PowerPoint screen is going to be keyed away. The green content is going to be keyed away and everything else is left. So you can have full border stuff. You can have content on the side. You can have content on the bottom. You can have a corner thing. You can do anything you want. Just remember that it's sort of like green is going to become like the glass and it's going to shine through and anything else you put over top of that, that's not green that's what's going to remain. So the key is if you have logos and graphics with green in them, you may have to do a blue key because let's go back into that again. You could do green or blue. So that allows you to adjust your color key. Done. You can only pick one. You can't pick green and blue and shift in the middle of it. You could pick a green key or you can pick a blue key. So I have this picture, and just so that it's not um, confusing, I'm going to actually change. Do, 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 let's reselect the screens. The main screen is going to be this video next, and the overlay next. And then we're going to change the size. Done. So when I bring that up, now you can see that it just sits there, and I can use my spacebar to just tab between these screens. Or you can use an arrow key. 
or you could actually set up if it's like advertising and sponsors you can have powerpoint automate and just continually cycle through a certain number of slides that you have pre-made now specifically if you wanted to get lyrics up on the screen over top of the video we'll show you how to do that next so the same thing is I'm going to go to, let's just look at the overhead view. I'm going to exit out of that PowerPoint that I've created. I've got a different one with lyrics. As you can see, there's, there's lyrics on the bottom of the screen here. You just put them into a PowerPoint and you can have a different PowerPoint for every song that you want to do. And then let's look at the screen here. So you can see more clearly, uh, I'm not using the top part of the title here. You just leave that alone. And then I copied and pasted titles into the bottom here again i'm using a green key so then over here on my yolo box i'm going to take that one it's going to come up with the keying i'm going to say turn the key on done and then i have that over top of my video you can see there and when you go to your slideshow play from beginning and it takes over the whole screen give it a moment for the extra overlays to vanish and then there you go now I am going to redo this one da, 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 da. picture on picture reselect screen first is me next is overlay and then we size that up, done. So now you can see that the lyrics, and I'm just gonna hit the space bar, are gonna be over top of the screen and whatever is gonna be happening here. I turned off my green screen so it wouldn't just be black. Um, you could have the stage, whatever else is uh, happening in front of you, and the lyrics change, and the lyrics change, and this is what goes out as part of your program. Now, the thing you can't do yet is you can't change cameras. There's not a way to uh, dynamically change in the YOLO box the camera that is behind. It's, it's a little bit of a touch process. So if you have a, um, an ATEM Mini in conjunction with your YOLO box, the ATEM Mini can be your switch between the cameras and then you bring that in via HDMI into the YOLO box where you can do your overlays, your other graphics, your pre-show, your streaming, your recording. You can do all of that in the YOLO box, especially the graphics coming in from another source. That has been a quick look at how you can key whatever graphics you want over top of live video using the YOLO box Pro. My name is Anthony Barocas. Thanks for watching.